My friend, it's Hunter from Interactive and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do like this sparkling water effect or just like this rising bubbles which you can put inside of a bottle if you would like. And so basically I'm going to start off with just the simple shape. This is a bottle, uh, it hasn't really got any labels or anything on it yet. But what I'll do is start by lighting it. So currently we've just got a plain black scene. I also am giving this file away for you guys to download if you would like to. So the first thing I need to do is just uh, start setting up the lighting and what I'll do is just go shift A, I'll add in a plane and I'll just move this plane back so it's like a big uh, back face like this here. Just massive face in the background. Let's move it back a bit more. Then we can also add in an area light now from memory. I had an area light in here. Let's select both these. There is an area light stuck down there. Let's get rid of him. Could have used him, but we'll put a new one in. Let's move this up and we'll just move it back behind the plane. So back here. We don't want it that far back behind the plane. So we'll just move it up. Rotate it on the X so it's sort of pointing in the direction that you'd like. And now we can just make this bigger and scale along the X here. So now I can select this back face here, add a new material, call this one Diffuse. And I'll just get rid of the principal and shift a translucent. So this will act like a scrim if you've ever uh, used being in the photography world you know what a scrim is but basically it's just a modifier of light and so it's just a big plane usually like a sheet of paper or like just a sheet of some material that can diffuse light while letting light through and so it helps the light uh, become a lot softer so then what I can do is just pump up the power let's go like 150 then what I also want to do is if we've got this here if I scale this one just a little bit down currently our spread is like 180 so it's our light is emitting like this in all these directions from this plane 180 degrees um, but I want it to emit a lot smaller so I'm going to say like 90 so it'll start emitting like this a lot more direct and so basically what I can do is change that and you'll get this effect. I can just move this down like so and then you'll get this nice effect here. Now I don't think my glass is set up correctly. Get rid of this, put in a glass. There we go. So that works a little bit better. And so we're ready to start um, creating the simulation. I might just push this brightness up to like 250. It's nice and bright. We'll create a bit sharper lighting so that I can, something like that. We can play around with that later. So now I want to grab the liquid here. And uh, before actually we do that, we'll go shift A, add in a UV sphere. I'll just drag this up, just scale this down, and I'll just right click and shade it smooth. Then we can drag this into our scene, and we can just call this the bubble. We can add a new material to this and just make it a glass, like so. And I'll call this um, bubble. Bubbles, same difference. And then what I'll do is uh, hide the bubble layer. Now we can get our liquid in here. We can come down to our particle properties. I'm just going to get rid of these and add a new one. And we'll call this uh, bubbles. So the first thing we want to do is come down here to our render. And we'll go from halo to object. And then down here we can select the object that we would like to have the particles of. I'm also going to change the size of this one. I have got some notes over here. 
of what I did last time. So we've got I scaled it really big, so maybe maybe something like point one bigger point two. So we can actually see it somewhere in between. It's always an in between. And then we can change the randomness, so something like point point two or something, so the bubbles have got a different size. So if I pull up my timeline now, this will start to simulate. And right now it's going down, which bubbles don't really do that. Unless this bottle's been shot upside down. So what I can do is come down to the field weights here. And we just go like negative 0.1 here. Now, that'll send the bubbles up and out, which is... A little bit annoying. Let's up the count, something like 100, 1500. Now I want to adjust the frame start. So I want to go before the time. So I want to go like negative 50. And I also want to change the lifetime is basically if, if the bubble is generated on frame one, it'll die on frame 50. So I can change the lifetime to something like 100. I also want a lifetime randomness. So let's go something like, oh, it's a different value than I thought. Let's go 0 0.5, which means that it's got a little bit of randomness so bubbles can die at different times. Also, I want to adjust in our physics tab, this Brownian or Brownian, we'll put it something, I had something like this last time. That looks all right. Now there is another option, source. So we can emit from the volume also rather than the actual. And now this should be inside. Now currently you can see that the bubbles are, they're just going like, basically they're coming out of the bottle and we want them to be contained inside. So what we can do is duplicate the liquid, so Shift D. Um, we'll just call this uh, liquid, uh, I don't know, null, something like that. We can actually hide this and we can get rid of the particle. And up here, what we can do is go collision. So under the collision, you've got the particle here and then you can hit kill particles so what that'll do is kill any and all particles as they exit this uh this shape here so that means no particles can go out but basically that's a pretty interesting fact it's pretty easy to do pretty easy to set up and some of those bubbles don't look like they're going up but basically you could adjust the gravity so you could go negative 0.3 or something like that means they'll rise a bit faster and what i'm going to do is i'll just brighten this background lastly so i'll make it really nice and punchy i'm going to drop down this something like 25 and we'll increase this to like 500 I'll bring it up and just keep rotating this rotate on the x maybe i want this a bit higher something like 40 rotate on the x something like that and then from here you could go and render this out or you could uh, add your labels and things like that if we would like basically there's some nice bubble effect in here you're getting the warping just because of the bend of the glass so that's working really nicely and then you get this really nice uh, bubbles effect in your bottles that can be animated as well so if you're doing like sparkling water and things like that this can be animated. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
I think I'll put the project files down below so you can download it. You can also uh, grab this finished project file if you want to run over some of the settings like I had to. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.